last one is the Gaga deployment. I go pass to uh, this deployment. Uh, the first one deployment is the uh, EcoBus eco system, which is a commercial system deployed in the Pancho, in the city near Belway. Uh, as you can uh, from the name of the uh, deployment, it's related for a bus system, and sensors are located uh, on all public buses in the city of Pancho, and provide monitoring of location of, of those buses, arrival time, and, and things like this. But we also provide uh, several devices which uh, can measure environmental uh, values. Uh, on this picture, which you probably cannot see, uh, is architecture of the system. It's uh, from one earlier project uh, in Sensei. And on this bigger picture, uh, there is a component which is called Web Handler, uh, which provides uh, system interface for data from buses. It's some kind of virtual uh, uh, sensor for devices in the system, and there are some databases like uh, RV and for measurements and for processing components. And for dry side, I have clients who can use this system. So web client is probably the most useful. It can be accessed through the web browser, and all nodes can be visualized on the maps, and system can be created for arrival time, for example, or for measurements. Uh, and there is an Android client for, for mobile devices, and, uh, and also provides a signal interface for, for end users. Uh, here is a big, big picture of integration, how it's implemented technical details uh, with Smart Center. Uh, there is one component of the Smart Center uh, called the Node Manager, on which is provided system uh, service, services. The, these devices are registered as service uh, nodes. And observations are provided to the USM EDAS uh, uh, component in the smart standard, which holds measurements of, of the whole system. And there is a resource directory component, which is uh, internal in the smart standard component in, uh, and uh, connected with node manager of the system. And for the end users, which is interesting, this is component uh, uh, Smart standard EcoBus server, which provides uh, subscription subscription with, uh, with the USM component and receive messages on arrival data, arrival data from the EcoBus system. And here is an example of the uh, uh, end user application which uh, uh, collects data from these components and visualizes them for Android devices. I will provide some more technical details about these interfaces so we can do some experiments. Of whether you are interested in, uh, so how to get this data and visualize them some other way, not like this. Uh, in summary, uh, uh, because it's a commercial system, there is no possibility to reprogram, stop, or restart devices on the, in the system. Uh, so we provide the data forwarding to the smart standard platform, and they are, data are available for the service develop, developers to develop their application while they think is useful, maybe for pollution detection, some, uh, something like that. Uh, where they, uh, and also this, we provide device registration and data forwarding to the USM. And we provide one component which provides a subscription to the USM so the user can get easier interface to collect data <coughs> and to visualize them, to collect them. Here are some screenshots from application. The first one is from web application. It's an EcoBus part where the user can uh, play for data measurements. So you can see for, uh, for gases or for temperature humidity. Uh, on the right side, there is a map of measurements where the exact place where they are collected. You see it's on the road. So, and uh, it's a color uh, is used for, for measurements to if they are green, they are okay, red, the, the song, some of the values are not held, and as you can see, one, one hour history on one day, history for, on graph like this below, and here is uh, uh, the, at the end, uh, Android application, which is used for uh, uh, a rather time uh, estimation for some line on, of the buses in the city of Pancho. And here are the devices, the first one is only for monitoring of uh, location uh, of buses, it's pretty easy to Install him, it's just important to, uh, to put him on some place where uh, it's, it's not easy for everyone to reach him. Uh, this, component, this uh, device for EcoBus 
for environmental monitoring uh, to be placed in the roof of the bus, so it's, uh, it's a very sensible device. And in summary, there is 60 devices, 50 devices are just for location, and 10 are equipped with the sensors for environmental monitoring. Uh, there are listed uh, measurements that this device can uh, measure. There are gases, CO2, and CO2, and temperature, humidity, and atmospheric pressure. And in the newest, in the latest version of the device, we have a standard set of uh, measurements by this, uh, like you know, CO2 uh, and ozone and sound pressure level. As I said, during the project, we, we can notice uh, pro problems from these devices for environmental monitoring. So we deploy several versions of the device. One of uh, the main things that we should keep in mind is that sensor board should be easy to replace and should be uh, somehow uh, not close to the, to the rest of the electronic device. Every device has a GPS model for communication with the server. <coughs> and environmental sensors now are installed on the separate board. And here are the images for this of the new and the newest one uh, device for environmental monitoring. So sensor board is easy to replace and can be uh, placed uh, uh, further than uh, the rest of the electronic. You can, because it's exposed to the weather conditions like the rain, the cold, the sun, and everything. Uh, and there are colleagues who, uh, who designed this device. We again ask them for a lot of data is why it works or not. And now I will uh, provide some information about the information of participatory sensing application in the city of Novi Sad. Uh, we use this company, Informatica, which is a public utility company for Novi Sad. Uh, we, in Novi Sad, we have no bar bills, which came on every month from this Informatica, but they also maintain uh, a lot of uh, uh, information system of Novi Sad, the optical fiber is provided, for example. Uh, IP cameras uh, or the, the city of Novi Sad. Uh, as you can see, web application, hosting for a lot of that stuff. And what is interesting for us, uh, why we choose them, uh, they have this connection with authority institution, with some kinds of, of police in, in uh, Novi Sad. And his and the picture is integration of participatory sensing application with uh, Informatica. And, which is more, maybe the most important with this authority institution. So for the end user, it's only mobile. Uh, installate, install, there is an application for mobile Android phones, which communicate with this participatory sensing server, which is from the Smart Sabandi project. And we designed this, uh, this service uh, as extension uh, for, for supporting communication with Informatica. Data are forwarded, forwarded to the USM component. And on the, here I will list the uh, information about this service. Uh, here is uh, why it was named like this. So it provides uh, event reading uh, for, uh, uh, for Informatica. It's an easier interface because user can, uh, Informatica can delete uh, uh, events that are already read. And uh, because it goes to Police, it's good to be pretty sure about these events. Are they uh, can be trusted or untrusted? So we added mechanism <coughs> for event rating on user rating, which is uh, application mobile application is extended to support user rating and event rating. So, uh, for example, Informatica don't accept any uh, uh, any event which has no positive rating. Uh, uh, we have agreed with. Uh, a set of uh, events which can be uh, forwarded to the to the informatica and the institution and present actually if you have any questions.